Howdy y'all, this is Royce from Hill Country CNC and Woodworking, and I'm doing a little sign on laser it engravable uh, material from JDS Industries, and thought you might like to see it. This was a piece of scrap, so I went ahead and measured it, and then I checked it with my calipers, uh, just because I didn't think the width was 0 0.02, and it's not, just a little bit more. So my CO2 laser won't cut this material I tried, and that disappointed me, but I realized I have a CNC, so I just fired up Vectric VCAR Pro and made this little cutout so I could use the material. I'm using a phenomenal camera, so I don't know why it came out fuzzy, but I will drop all the dimensions of what I did in my blog that will be linked to this so you can see exactly the dimensions of everything I did. That sounded dumb. That's me. Did this little round over and it flipped it vertical. Easy fix, I just shifted it over. Moving on. This is just my setup for the cut on V-Carve. It's actually a spire, but the you don't need a spire for this. And I will share this. I'm really conservative with my depth of cut but this material is really thin, so it, uh, it didn't require two passes. Tons of ways to hold things down with the CNC, but I really thought about this one and I was like, man, this is the easy button. Let's just go ahead and use some CA glue and some accelerator and it'll not move. And it didn't. Just a note for anybody that's really starting out with CNC, which I know this is not a CNC video. If your surface is not flat, you will never have a good cut. So check that first. For the record, I totally recognize I did a horrible job of lining this thing up. Moving on to the cut, you want a low flute uh, bit for reduced temperature, basically. And I chose the Amana Tools 51417 Kilo, my favorite part of CNC, set to Z. and let her rip. This material has a plastic coating on the top of it that you can't really see, but when you're seeing seeing it, it looks like there's sharp little edges on the side. Those are not sharp edges, it's plastic that's pushed up. For the laser, I used light burn, and this is just a really simple SVG. I then found center, and something I do with acrylic a lot, I've uh, never done it with metal, is I smear it with dish soap, and you're like, why does that matter? The science behind it is basically that it defocuses your laser just a little bit, and causes your lines per inch to be smoother. Center the laser. No, seriously, center, center, come on. Center, the center, 
center the light, center, center the, there you go. And laser. In hindsight, I probably should have lasered this a little faster. It's sped up for this video, but let me tell you, this thing took 51 minutes and it was pretty boring. Someday I'll have a better way to film uh, inside the laser, but this is the best I can do for now. If you didn't know, uh, lasering can burn your lens on whatever camera you're using. So all those digital content people out there that are making great films of lasers, you're destroying your camera. Just a shout out, if you're in the Connie Corso world, Steven is the best. His dogs are wonderful. I've had two of them now. Um, he's also a combat veteran. He was my 240 gunner uh, on multiple deployments. Great dude, check him out. And there it is, the finished lasering. I probably didn't need to, uh, but I like to do things once. I went ahead and washed off the soap and then peeled everything off and looks really good. The, the lines you see in the black right now is just extra residue and it goes away with just a little easy cleaning. Ten minutes later. I hope you enjoyed the video. All the technical stuff will be down below and written in my blog. So check it out. Thanks.